What's up guys, Nerd Help Desk here, and today I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu while coinciding with Windows if you want to try it out. But uh, any tutorial you've ever seen uh, usually requires partitioning and boot manager modification, and really that's unnecessary with this new application. Well, it's actually new. It's been out for a while. It's called Wubi. What Wubi does is uh, you install it as a program in Windows, and then when you start it up, Windows detects it as another operating system and adds it to the boot manager and it is as simple as installing a program and restarting and it's there. Um, if you're ever familiar with the uh, F8 um, safe mode menu, it's similar like this, works in all versions of Windows XP Vista 7. I don't think it works with 98 though, so if you have that I'm sorry. So this is what the program looks like when you first open it up. It's about a 5 megabyte program, but um, you have to think about uh, it. actually has to download the disk, so you have to wait a bit after that. So uh, you can install it if you have multiple hard drives. You can choose which drive you want to install it on. And then you dedicate how many gigabytes do you want to dedicate to uh, Wubi. Uh, I recommend at least 10 gigabytes. If you're a little bit low on space, you maybe can go 6 or 7, but that's really cutting it close. Now, there's diff uh, many different types of Ubuntu. Um, this is actually a bit old. Ubuntu Netbook doesn't exist anymore. But if you want XUbuntu, KUbuntu, MythUbuntu, it's all there. Uh, there are all different types. Uh, you can set your username and password from here. Um, password is required. I usually, if you don't want to set a password, just set it as one. Now, it's going to download the files over the Internet. Now, this can take... This can take up uh, to uh, 30 minutes to an hour, uh, depending on your internet connection. And, uh, it uses torrents. If you're not familiar with torrents, it uh, basically it it, peer, it proxies off other people who have the disk already, and it downloads uh, with their permission, of course. So w once that downloads, uh, you restart. Uh, I'm not going to do this right now because uh, I already have it installed, and it's kind of a waste of time. But yeah, if you're, if you're looking to get into Linux and Ubuntu, this is the easiest way to do it, uh, especially if you're using Windows, obviously. So I hope this helped you guys out. Uh, the download link is in the description if you need it. And I'll see you guys later.